Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Stellaris. We are playing as the Restored Quirkian League. We've unlocked the L cluster, and we're trying to uh, keep it for ourselves. Survey complete. All right, we've got some nanites there. Let's go ahead and build that outpost. All right, the shield generator, the initiative... Moon base was kept operational for several centuries, but with no signs of containment failure, the forces were gradually scaled back. Shifting alliances and infighting between the various initiative members eventually left the base completely deserted. Automated systems were left in place to maintain the shield surrounding Party C's homeworld, and they have, incredibly, remained functional up until now. Alas, a critical power cable was severed when our archaeologists dug their way into the subterranean generator chamber. After 75,000 years of continuous operation, the shield is no more. Curious. Change the planet to a relic world. And the shield has come down. Everything has died on it, apparently. Well, I mean, if we're going to do that, then we're going to colonize it. Abandoned Ecumenopolis, this ancient relic world was imprisoned behind an impenetrable energy barrier for roughly 75,000 years. It must once have been a vibrant Ecumenopolis, home to hundreds of billions of individuals. But the streets and buildings are deserted now. None of the planet's original inhabitants remain. Well, Hazel Garland, let's go ahead and excavate that site. See what it has in store for us. I wonder if they've shifted the abandoned L cluster over to an archaeological site too. That'd be pretty pretty great. Technology discovered. And I've capped out on minerals again. Uh, focused archimeters. Okay. Um. Proton launchers are pretty cheap. Pretty quick to research. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to come up here and survey this one. Because when this guy finishes, he's going to either go there or there. I suppose he might go to one of the others, but it's very likely that he goes to one of these two instead. So, come over here, start surveying there. Technology discovered. And mineral isolation. Another 20% uh, minerals from miners. Because, you know, I need more. Get the advanced cruiser hull points. Construction complete. Okay, terminal egress. Let's go ahead and build all of those. I'm not going to build there yet. So this does not have colors around me yet. Um, I need to reload the save. For some reason, it, it can't load in um, the borders on uh, the L cluster like that. Okay, educational campaign and recycling campaigns. This is getting pretty expensive. Anomaly detected. A small space station of some kind has been built in stable orbit around this asteroid. It appears deserted. Well, we'll have to uh, wait on that. Whispers in the Stone. Our recent advancements in mining technology have enabled us to bore deeper into Nishpan Prime's crust than ever before. In the depths of its cavernous mineral mines, we have stumbled upon traces of an ancient alien civilization leading further into the mountain. The civilization seems to have been built along an unexploited ore vein. Excavating the site will impede our mining operations on the planet and would make 
abstraction from the new vein impossible, but could lead to a new scientific discovery. Add ore rich caverns to Nishpan Prime. Um, intriguing. Start digging. We get an archaeological site. Minerals from jobs minus 50%. Oh no! What? <laughs> Whatever shall I do? I, I might, I might only gain like 950 again. That's terrible. Ah, they did take this. I figured they would eventually, but... Whispers in the stone. In the depths of Nishpan Prime's mines are traces of an ancient alien civilization. Magnificent ornamental structures and cavernous chambers telling of a rich culture have been cut expertly from the bedrock, and a system of paved tunnels protected by massive gates leads deeper into the mountain. Exploring the site will be perilous, as the mountain is rich with methane gas, known for its explosive qualities. Alright. We'll get to that eventually. Alright, you were done over here. I kind of wish that there was something where you could highlight unexploited resources. Like these. And that. Alright, there we go. I think that's everything that I can get at the moment. Actually, go ahead and come over here. So we're almost done with this one. You'll be going down there next. Nothing on this shattered world, huh? Construction complete. You would think that we'd be able to get some good minerals out of that, but... Alright, Tem Station. Let's see. You... Just have defenses. I guess defenses are okay. Actually, for now, let's go with anchorages. Deep Space Black Site. Hyperlane Registrar. We'll leave the other one. Off-World Trading Post. Let's get the uh, Nebula Refinery. And Hyperlane Registrar, I think. Off-World Trading Company. Go for Deep Space Black Site and just Hyperlane Registrar then. Up here, we get the Naval Logistics Office, Deep Space Black Site, and Hyperlane Registrar. I can change a lot of these if uh, a war breaks out. Okay. I am over my uh, starbase limit, unfortunately. Not a whole lot that I can do about it. Yeah, so I do have the, uh, the logo shows up, but the border doesn't.
survey complete. Excellent. It starts fairly close to being done. Uh, Giranchu societal shift. That's good. All right, they're moving up there. Good. Then when you're done, come over here and come down here. I'm doing pretty well on uh, influence now. Survey complete. All right, that system over there has been surveyed. That's fine. Uh, Albus, two unemployed pops. Let's go ahead and get some more of that. Uh, Forge World. Nothing really special that I want. Oh. Research Institute is always a good choice. Get some more science. Uh, bureaucratic Center. More administrative offices over here. Um, I don't really need more food. I'll go for an alloy foundry. Lesson is fine. You over here. Let's get some more uh, civilian fabricators. Fomal halt. There's a lot of mining available here. So let's go for some of that. Mining world, we'll go for another one of those. Urban world, build that up. And build a couple of districts. And that's good. Okay. All right, we're going to get some uh, nanites coming in, at least. Survey. I might actually be able to uh, do that policy. All right, let's go survey down there and up there. Astart doesn't really have a lot going for it, unfortunately. I really do wish that these systems were just better. You know, 10 resources per each one. Otherwise, they're just kind of, like, bland. A disappearance. Abandoned Ecumenopolis. So the disappearance of this planet's original population remains a mystery. Once the shield went up and they were isolated from the rest of their interstellar empire, they likely faced mass, mass famine and civil unrest as they struggled to support their capital's massive population with what limited resources they had. Yet there are no signs that they demolished parts of their city planet to cultivate the land. Nothing suggests that any significant lighting, uh, fighting took place after the shield went up. And there are no remains, fossilized or otherwise, of the inhabitants. It's like they simply vanished into thin air. One minor artifact. I'm going to bet that they found some sort of uh, trans-dimensional gate. Alright, so we could activate a relic. I am going to... Reverse in engineer some. Research op uh, option gained. Proclamation broadcasts. Let's go ahead and do that. Seven energy credits. Bumping that up to ten. Very nice. Construction complete. The death of the Great Khan. Great Khan Ragla of the Hathgum Horde is dead. Details are scarce at this point, but intercepted communications indicate that the Great Khan was poisoned by one of his more ambitious warlords in an attempted coup. With our beloved leader gone, a vicious power struggle has erupted in the Hathgum Horde. 
Uh, the Great Khan's warlords are now fighting each other over control of his empire. It remains to be seen who will emerge on top. So reign, so ends the reign of Ragla. Well, sucks to be him. They didn't really get very big, to be honest. Construction complete. Okay, you are done. Let's go ahead and build up there. Let's see. Uh, let's see. You have gained expertise, new worlds. That's fine. Hmm. Kalaktora Prime is over here, and the Zenek Architects. That is very unfortunate. All right. I guess they're just going to get that one. In that case, finish surveying that one and then come down here. All right, in terms of jumps, let's see. That's two, that is three, and that is four. Okay, so if I build my starbase here and get... Um, yeah, I think we're going we're gonna to build this one. We're going to upgrade this. I mean, I'll want this defended anyway. Otherwise, enemies can pop in and pop out at will. I don't like that. Okay, I need more housing here. Also, I got Xeno Relations. Diplomatic weight plus 10%. I can build a Grand Embassy Complex. Xenomorph Army. Sure, that's rare. Go ahead and take that. See if that gets us an extra envoy. I imagine it will. Well, I have surveyed part of this system, so... Could be worse. Get that upgraded. Okay, we got a housing problem here. Let's build all of those. That'll keep the housing problem from being a problem. I hate these guys coming in here and surveying my stuff. I suppose I should have sent that ship back down there. Capped out on food. Go ahead and sell some more uh, minerals before I cap out on that. Survey complete. Okay, Evacuation Day. The eerie and empty streets of this abandoned planet-wide city still do not betray what happened to the original inhabitants. Posters and pamphlets have been discovered that mention some sort of Evacuation Day. They are typically accompanied by pictures of a, gal uh, of a galaxy that our astronomers do not recognize. Evacuation Day. Today is the day. Report to your nearest relocation center as soon as possible to begin your new life in the off-world colonies. Curious. Technology discovered. Sorry, I had to go with that. Uh, proton launchers, okay. Uh, don't care about planetary shields. What is the cheapest? Space-time theory. The new Khanate. Against all odds, the Hathcom Horde has managed to weather the turmoil that followed in the wake of the death of the Great Khan. The immediate threat of splintering into different successor states has been largely eliminated with the coronation of a new Khan. For now, the reborn Hathcom Khanate seems more concerned with consolidation of the territory it already controls than making new conquests. 
We, s we shall see how long they survive. Okay, so they are a regular empire now. What good is our fleet if we do not put it to use? Oh, they're despicable neutrals! What makes a species turn neutral? Lust for gold? Power? Or were they just born with hearts full of neutrality? This is a placeholder personality and should not show up in-game. <laughs> it shouldn't? It seems to have. A tri oh, did they take the capital? Oh, they took their capital, I think. Where? Where is this? Oh, they did. Oh, it's so good. Oh, that makes me happy. Screw you, Zatrakpor. <laughs> Survey complete. Jam system has been surveyed. All right. Construction complete. All right, let's go ahead and build that and then come up here. Get those other uh, nanites. Uh, okay, the Chirk have decided to declare me a rival now, again. I was moving through your space. Fine, you can be a rival. I, I mean, you can be my rival. That kind of puts you in a little bit of a pickle. All right, go ahead and jump up here. We'll get out of there. Okay, it's time for a new election. We uh, once again have uh, Caretaker AX7B running, and we will probably win again. Which ju does amuse me quite a bit. I was thinking about jumping down there, but nah. War has broken out. Turk Principality declared war on Kalactora Prime. Okay. Uh, I think these are the only guys who are not inside any sort of um, thing. Federation. That's what I'm going for. And another leader has died. An admiral. Let's get a new one. Yeah, we can get you. That's fine. Just being in charge of a ship should give um, experience, I feel. Establishing colony. Because if you don't fight much, then it just means that you're, you know, they're they're sitting around doing nothing, not gaining any. Uh... Oop. That is you. All right. Well, that's good. Ish. Okay, I can't get into your space. I need to wait until you can jump again. New ruler mandate. Um, Odgib. As per our commissary general's mandate, our planetary districts have expanded. 1,000 of those. Cannabis Prime, huh? Expansionist and military pioneer. Uh, I'm going to be losing uh, some influence. I miss my deep connections. All right, Canopus. Um, actually, Canopus is easier to find down here, I think. Yep, there we go. Ah, and you are just in charge of that. AI aided design. Ship build speed minus plus twenty percent. Ship build cost minus ten. Plus twenty minus ten. 
That's about the same. Alright. Whatever. You guys do you. Hey, more nanites. There's actually three. I'm genuinely shocked. Kalatora coming in there. Now, where exactly are you going to go out of? Oh, wow. I'm capped out on uh, energy credits. Well, let's go ahead and buy some alloys then. Where are you going? Why are you coming into my system here? Do you want me to close my borders to you? Because I will close my borders to you if you do not get out. This is not a haven for you. The Project. The planet was clearly abandoned after this evacuation day concluded, but how? There is no evidence that the planet's energy barrier was ever went down. Clues have been discovered that indicate the pursuit of some sort of massive research project that predates the shield. Resources and science staff were diver diverted to this project in increasing numbers, and the efforts appear to have greatly intensified after the shield went up. Curious. Construction complete. Okay, have I missed a, uh, a chirk? No, I mean, they wouldn't be able to use that. I don't think. I mean, maybe they could. Is there one close to them over here? No. All right, let's, uh, let's turn on Union's map mode so I can see who else they're hostile to. I don't see another one of these. I mean, there is that one up there, but... They did take that. Definitely don't see one in the Chirk lands. I think there's only two. Huh. Uh, well, I guess they're just in there for funsies? I don't know. But it is about time to end the episode, so when we come back next time, we'll go ahead and uh, continue securing our hold on the L cluster, and kind of pay a little bit of attention to this war. I'm just curious why the, uh, why the heck these guys came into my system there. Oh well. Maybe we'll find out next time. See you then, everyone.